Hey everyone, it's Sean, and in today's quick video, I want to show how to set up a new micro SD card for the Surface Pro 4 or any other Surface device. So what I like to use micro SD cards for is to store uh, media files, especially video files, picture files, it takes up a lot of space, and also to put OneDrive on. For me, OneDrive takes up a lot of space, so having a dedicated SD card to store OneDrive on is uh, really crucial. Also, S micro SD cards are a great place to store your apps for your Surface. Now, okay, so you can see right here, this is the mic 128 gigabyte micro SD card. This is absolutely amazing. There will be a slot underneath your Surface Pro 4 where you can go ahead and just slide in the micro SD card and you should feel it click into place. Okay, so there I put that in there. And now when we open up the Surface, I have a brand new micro SD card that's uh, just waiting for me to put it to good use. Now in one of my previous videos, I showed how to have OneDrive display all your files uh, even though they were not on the PC so that uh, you didn't take up any storage. So be sure to see that video if that's a, a kind of solution that you're looking for. Uh, in this case, I actually like to have my OneDrive files on the SD card so that when I'm offline on the airplane or when I don't wanna have to download large files, it's all there for me. So first of all, you want to go into your, uh, you want to go into the little icons over here on the bottom right hand side and you wanna right click or long press on the little cloud OneDrive icon. Go into settings, and once you're in settings, click on unlink OneDrive, okay? And that'll basically disconnect OneDrive from uh, the internet so that you can make modifications. Okay, so ignore this for now. You can just close that window. Go ahead and navigate to where your OneDrive was stored before. Now typically you can find this by going into this PC, going into your main drive, so usually C, and then going into users, and then in users, pick your primary account uh, folder, and you will see the OneDrive folder in there and in your primary account folder. So go ahead and right click that, and go to cut, so you wanna cut that, and now you're gonna to wanna to move that to your SD card. So let's go back to this PC. Let's go navigate to my empty SD card here. Now I'm gonna go and paste my OneDrive uh, folder into the SD card. Great, so now my OneDrive folder is in the SD card. Now we wanna link the OneDrive back up. So again, go down into the icons down at the bottom right and click on the cloud once more. Go ahead and sign in with your account. Now, right after signing in, it'll say this is your OneDrive folder and it'll show you where it is. But you want to click on change location, okay? Don't click next, Ch click on change location and it'll ask you to go ahead and browse to a new location. So let's go ahead and browse to where we just put it. Let's go to this PC. Let's go to the micro SD card and you can see there's our OneDrive folder there. Go ahead and click on select folder. And it'll say, hey, files are already in this OneDrive. Are you sure you wanna put it here? And yes, and anything that's, it can be gigabytes upon gigabytes, anything that's already in, uh, OneDrive is not gonna overwrite it so that it starts over from scratch. It'll compare the files that's online on OneDrive and compare the files that you copied onto your SD card and say, hey, these are the same, we don't have to re-download it. So don't worry about it, rewriting everything, it won't. Go ahead and choose uh, this, use this location, press use this location and then press next, okay? Then it'll ask you to pick folders. You can go ahead and pick all the folders if you want or just the few and then click on next. And then you can open up your OneDrive folder. And boom, now your OneDrive is on your micro SD card. Okay, so that is absolutely amazing. Now the question that I had, and I'm sure many of you have is, well, what happens when you remove the micro SD card? What happens to your OneDrive? The answer is nothing. It'll just throw an error message at you when you remove the SD card if your computer is trying to access OneDrive. It's not a big deal, it's not gonna hurt your PC. Uh, when you're done and with the micro SD card and you wanna put it back in, 
just slip it back in and your OneDrive will go back to working as normal. So nothing, nothing major will happen if you remove the SD card with your OneDrive on it. Just so you know. That said, uh, you know, it's always a good idea to eject your SD card uh, officially uh, by going into this PC and selecting eject and so forth. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show how to do is how to store your apps onto your micro SD card. So go ahead and in the search bar, type in apps. Now you'll see uh, apps and features as one of the options. Go ahead and select apps and features. Your settings menu will open and you will see a list of all your apps uh, in the settings menu. Now what you can go ahead and do is you can select individual apps to move them to the SD card. Uh, for example, I have here a game called Bridge Constructor. It has about 50 megabytes. Uh, if I select it, I can click on move and then I can select my micro SD card. You see it shows up in here, USB drive D. Uh, D is my micro SD card. So I can go ahead and select move and boom. Now it is on my micro SD card. You can see it says here moving. And if we go into the micro SD card, now you can see there's a whole bunch of other folders that appeared. These are all the folders that you can store your apps in. So you can go ahead and go into the settings and you can choose some of your largest apps and just start moving them to the micro SD card and it works fantastic. It's a great way to free up space on your surface. Okay, so what else can you do with your micro SD card? If you click on this PC, you'll see several folders above. You'll see pictures, you'll see videos, you'll see downloads. Uh, these are kind of all your basic uh, locations. You can actually move them to the micro SD card as well. So for example, let's click on videos, okay? Uh, so long press or right click, go to properties, and then in properties, you'll see a tab called location. You can go ahead and press move, okay? And then after you press move, you can go ahead and go to your SD card location. So let's navigate to where my micro SD card is. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder here by uh, pressing on new folder. I'm gonna call it videos. Select videos and select folder. Great, now you can see the lo new location is D videos. Press okay. And it says, do you want to move the old location to the new location? Press yes. And that's all there is to it. So now when I go into my videos, um, all my videos have been moved to my micro SD card. I can do that same thing for downloads. I can do that same thing for music and pictures. And it's a great way to free up space on your surface. All right, so there you go. That was my uh, video on how to set up a new micro SD card on your Surface Pro 4. If you found this video helpful, please do like it, uh, please share it, and uh, do check out some of my other videos on OneDrive, um, how to show online only files, uh, as well as some of my other tips and tricks videos for the Surface. Thank you very much for watching.